Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, I will say it and say it again because I get this uh, regularly and somebody asked me to make a video about it. I already did in the past, but a refresh is often very useful. Um, when you do get viruses, so first of all, the first part is getting a virus. Um, the comment that I had today was that, you know, the person actually clicked on something. So they know they're responsible for it. Uh, and they clicked on a fake player. And this happens usually when you go on web shady web pages that, you know, offer you free movies or uh, music or, or all sorts of things, or even porn sites are very good at that. And what happens is that a pop-up showed up and said, oh, if you want to view this, you've got to download our special player or this type of video player. And of course, he clicked on it, which you should never, never, because you never need some special player for anything. The web is pretty much now, uh, you know, kind of uh, universal. You pretty much have everything you need to see everything on the web. Um, so of course, after that, his computer behaved weirdly and he's getting uh, alerts of viruses. Now, what he's uh, using as an antivirus is Bitdefender. And he says Bitdefender finds the virus and then it says that he wants to quarantine it and remove it, ask for a restart. But when it restarts, it's still there. The antivirus still once again finds it, once again tries to neutralize it. And he's tried everything and he's wondering, is there a way to remove this virus? And I'll say it again and again and again, like I said at the beginning, reinstall windows format the hard drive completely remove everything and reinstall windows is the only sure way that you can remove a virus there's nothing more than that um you know i get all the time somebody coming up and saying well oh, well i got this antivirus or that antivirus removes it or this does that no it doesn't work like that and if you want to make sure you don't have a virus on your PC that comes back all the time. If you want to make sure that you're safe, that you don't have some keylogger snooping on what you're doing and maybe stealing your money, you need to reinstall completely Windows and wipe the drive, remove everything. Once you have reinstalled Windows, then is the only way that you know that you're okay. Unfortunately, one of the biggest reasons for that is that files and viruses tend to go into some very, very detailed, specific areas of your PC. They often hide either in some of the files of in the Windows registry in the Windows itself, but also when you are going through your own user accounts uh, and the user accounts, there's all sorts of, you know, folders of all sorts that actually are within there and there's app data and there's registry information that's actually uh, done so that even if it looks like it's clean, even if it looks like, okay, I'm safe now, even after a scan of your antivirus, even after a scan at the restart, it has a good chance that it's still there and it's just waiting to reactivate itself and will reactivate itself at some point. And that's not counting that a lot of viruses, a lot of malware actually, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a virus party. They're going to actually open up ports to download and get other malware to come in. And some of them undetectable to your antivirus. Uh, this is very important to understand. I say it all the time that antivirus detects what it knows, but has a very hard time detecting all the new ones today. And no antivirus is better than another. There is no such thing as this one's better. Nope. Just rely on making sure you make you know make all the updates and that you are not clicking on everything on the internet. That's what's keeping you safe. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.